Okay, so I'm in the study room in my school. Um, but I, um, in one of the classes that I'm taking right now, um, one of our things to do is go through the chapter that we're going to be doing on like the next class. We take one of the questions that's in the chapter, take one of the questions and write um, 100 to 200 words on that question. Um, like if it's in multiple questions, we only choose like one of the questions there. And um, this was the um, little box. Mine, the one I choose was the second question. But here's the thing. Um, Think of the community that you are particularly involved in, a club or team, a religious group, your college or university residence, or some other. How easily could it be studied by an outsider looking only at statistics? Really, I don't know why I can't say words right now. Um, second question. Which insider voices from your community would an outsider need to listen to in order to get an accurate picture of it? So I chose the second part because um, I chose the second part for um, kind of like the pagan, new pagan witchcraft, pagan whatever you want to call it, community. And statistics. This shows how terrible I'm, I am with S's. Um, like you can't really base the community off of the numbers because one, you can't, not all persons have come out of the group, like said broom closet and identified as a practicing pagan um, or Wiccan or whatever. And yeah, and like, um, and like I haven't seen those like censuses before. Um, I haven't, well, I haven't seen any yet. And that, like, I don't know if it says like, like, P um, pagan, Wiccan, new pagan, whatever on it. Cause like it could be about like other category and you, and a person could say just take off that other category and you wouldn't know. So you can't really base it off of num um a number and like it doesn't go into denominations like or like Christian Christianity like Protestants Baptists Catholics whatever you can like. A lot of people, a lot of censuses, I don't know if this is correct, but they like, they do that, and they do that. So, well, I think it just depends on where you are. Um, so that's why I didn't do it on that. Um, I chose the um, second one, like, which insiders, and um, I kind of said you can't really ask the insiders, you have to really kind of um, go by which which type of books are selling, which people on YouTube are being most watched, what video is being most watched, if it isn't a set person, or on Facebook, or like on Facebook which person or business is being liked most, and like if you get into businesses, businesses like cause you got like um, people selling herbs, crystals, whatever. And so you got a whole different stuff and you got kind of got to look at that and you got to look at those people who are open and are saying I'm a, like a, like Dianic witch or um, Alexandrian or or whatever path you're practicing. And you also gotta know 
if they're in a coven or solitary or eclectic. So it's a really big mix, so you can't really generalize that all people within this community practice one set or have a set thing for their path. You got to look at it like you would uh, Christianity and you got to look at the different religions within Christianity. And and then and then within Christianity, you got um, like people who may go like only to church on like Easter and Christmas to those who are like totally devout like dead Flanders <laughs> kind of people. That's the only person. That's the only because you, you got like Ned Flanders like the real Chris, Christian person, but you got, also got like those who live in like polygamy type situations um, and who believe in that like air that set of Christianity even though it is like frowned upon in today's um, belief system and morals ethics whatever um, yeah, so, um, I just want to point out, um, what I've kind of, like, said, because, like, in a way you could have, could get, like, an almost an idea, like, for 1950, because, like, people didn't really argue and come forward before 1950, but, like, after that, when, like, this new, like, um, almost rebirth of religion or re almost like rediscovery or whatever even though it's been here for over t like more than Christianity like that rebirth after the 1950s people are slowly opening themselves up even though there's still the stereotypes that are there of the past so I just wanted to put my two cents in there and maybe get a few responses back on what other people think. Um, no, excuse me. But yeah, um, that's all I gotta say. So happy reading.